Bob? Hey! Oh, hey, God. What are you up to? Uh, my neighbor's damn tree looms over my yard, blocking the sun, dropping leaves all over the place, and poor little Andy has to rake them up. I see. Uh, so, so to solve this problem, you're nailing his garage door shut? Exactly. You know, Bob... Mm, here it comes. You're gonna try and twist this around somehow to make it wrong. The point yeah, is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure one of the Seven Commandments covers this. It's easy to make those rules up in the clouds with your little wings and your fancy harps, but I'm down here in the real world, punching the time clock, scratching out a living. Uh-huh. Try having your wife counting your beers. People coming after you for your illegal cable box. Then you got your son Andy with a 103 degree temperature out raking leaves because of this jerk. You don't know what it's like being human. You know what? You're right, Bob. I am. Hey, what's going on out there? Oh, shh. I'm out of here. Mike. With softball season starting next week, I was checking the stats from last year, and your batting average was 100 points lower in afternoon games than night games. Yeah, well, the sun gets in my eyes. I know. That's why, today at lunch, I'd like you to grab a bat, go outside, and stare at the sun. Get your eyes acclimated. I'm not gonna blind myself for this team. Okay. Doesn't have part of change. How's it going, Bob? How's it going, God? Oh. <laughs> uh. God, what are you doing here? What? Oh, I'm here to work. I'm Arthur from the Ypsilanti plant. We have an Ypsilanti plant? No, I just like the sound of it. Arthur from Ypsilanti. Say it with me, Bob. Arthur from Ypsilanti. No. Wh why? Why do you want to be an auto worker? I got to thinking about what you said the other night. I thought it'd be good to come down here and experience life as a human being. Look, I was just trying to get rid of you. No, no, you were on to something. I want to know what it's like to be you, Bob. Without the blinding hangovers. Hey, what does this do? <laughs> it releases the windshield. What is going on here? Who's this? Um, Arthur from the Ypsilanti plant. I didn't know it was bring Grandpa to work day. Look, I run a tight ship, geezer. Around here, it's my way or the byway. I think that's highway. Shut up! I've got my eye on you. Okay now, God, big guy, before you go and get all Old Testament on us. That was great. I got my ass chewed out. Wow, my ears are hot. Do your ears get hot when you get yelled at? Look, why don't you just lay low for a while? You know, sort of soak up the atmosphere casually in the background. Oh, that's real sweet of you, Bob, but I don't expect any extra consideration just because I'm God. I'm here to build a quality mid-sized sedan at an affordable price. What's he up to now? <laughs> Would you stop that? You're screwing up my reception. Sorry. The man's lost his mind. He's in overalls, for God's sake. Switch. You can't rule these people when you're amongst these people. You compromise your authority and you'll never get it back, I'll tell you that. Ow! That's my hoof. Don't blame me, it's those Doc Martens you're always wearing. Sure, they look cool, but you pay a price. To the salon, sir? You know, if I may be so bold, sir, it seems like we have an opportunity here. What are you talking about? If God's so busy on Earth doing all this human stuff, no one's minding the store. Smack, you're right. I can do anything I want. Don't make it puffy in the back. I know how to do your hair, okay? Without him around, everything is possible. The sky's the limit. I'm soiling myself with anticipation, sir. What's your first move? My first move? Hmm, this is my big chance, so it has to be perfect. How about a plague? I've done that! It has to be something so diabolical, so dastardly, so appalling it would disgust even me. Tony Danza on Broadway? Yes, something on that level. Smack. This is my opportunity to finally take control. At last, I can commit the ultimate act of evil upon the entire universe. <laughs> I've got nothing. Hard day at work, hon? It was a nightmare. I was breaking in this new guy. I'll get it. Bob, you've got something right here. Other side. Got it. 
God? It's Arthur. I did the work thing, now I want to do the home thing. Oh, gee, God, I, I don't know if that's such a great... Who is it, Bob? Oh, hi, I'm Arthur from the Ypsilanti plant. Bob invited me over to meet the family. <laughs> hey, is that meatloaf? Lose 14 spaces for swiping a cookie? Shoots and ladders is a cruel game, Arthur. Oh, clumsy me. That's the third time tonight. Well, I guess we'll just have to start over again. Bob, Donna wants to talk to you. Huh? Oh. Bob, I don't want to be rude to your friend, but he's been here for four hours. He ate three helpings of meatloaf and made us sing camp songs at the table, and then there was that bizarre explanation of how you make a goldfish. I mean, what was that about? Well, what am I supposed to do? Tell Arthur to leave. I can. Why not? Look, Donna, the truth is, Arthur is adopted. And he still lives with his parents. It's not a good situation. A lot of verbal abuse. They thought they were getting a five-year-old. I think that's why they're so angry. What's he got on you? Pretty much everything. Fine, I'll do it. Listen, Arthur, it's been a lovely evening, but it's getting late, and I was thinking maybe you... Would like to stay and have another piece of that delicious peach pie? Would like to stay and have another piece of that delicious peach pie. Well, I shouldn't, but okay. Brittany is always talking behind people's backs. Don't tell her I said this, but I think she is really phony. Oh, really? She invited you. No, no, go ahead. Like I care. Everybody hates me. There, are you happy? Megan. I'll go talk to her. What? Better let Arthur handle this. Do you mind? I want to be alone. It's cool. Your friend's bugging you? Brittany is not my friend. Oh, she's just acting all conceited and stuff because she's jealous of you hanging with Jennifer. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, junior high girls are so immature. Totally. Especially Brittany. Thanks. No biggie. Megan, honey, are you... I'm fine. Well, listen, it's getting really late. So why don't you just spend the night? So why don't you just spend the night? Thanks for the t-shirt, Bob. <laughs> yeah, it's a classic, isn't it? Oh, when I was pulling out the bed, I seemed to have stumbled onto something called Jugs Monthly. Uh, yes. It's a uh, trade journal for uh, vessels used in the storage of... My God! Is that a naked woman? Well, this is going into the trash immediately. So, uh, this has been great. Let's see, you've done the work thing, and now the home thing, and I guess in the morning you'll be doing the leaving thing. I mean, it's great to have you here, but we sort of have our routine. We don't get a lot of midweek guests. <laughs> anyway, I guess what I'm saying is... Bob. Right. Excuse me, sisters, but I believe it's Populo, not Populé. Such a fat cake <laughs> Nuns kicking none at it. Doesn't get any better than this. Some of your best work, sir. You're really firing on all cylinders. Yes, I am. I really am. So why do I feel so empty? Come on, we've had a good week. We got gambling into Salt Lake City, the designated hitter into the National League, and installed another 700 toddler-sized wells in Oklahoma. Fish in a barrel, Smack. Without the holy one around, what's the point of all this? I just don't know who I am anymore. I'm lost. I feel like that guy in Wham after George Michael went solo. What guy? Exactly. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what's black and white and red all over? 
<laughs> Dear Bob and Donna, thanks for your hospitality. If you're ever in Ypsilanti, look me up. Ha, ha. He has an odd sense of humor. Yeah, tell it to Job. Who? Uh, Ralph Job, a uh, guy I work with. He installs dome lights, has a uh, limp German accent. Uh, you've met him. Has the lazy eye. After talking to Jennifer last night, I discovered something painful about myself. All the clothes you guys bought me suck. Mom, you have to take me shopping. Are you kidding? Megan, if you think for one second... We'll go this weekend and make a day of it. What? Donna, could we go into the kitchen and fight about this? We are not going to buy her all new clothes. Look, this is the first time in two years that she's asked me to do anything with her. I've been waiting a long time for some interaction with Megan that doesn't end up with both of us in tears. I'm fine with tears. Tears we can afford. Bob, you gotta do something about your friend Arthur. What? He's here again? Yeah, and he's making us look bad. He's like a blur. He's been doing that all morning. Bastard! An auto plant's an unsafe place. Accidents happen. Be a real shame if a tranny was to fall on your friend's head. Whoa, guys, we don't need that. Calm down. Let me see what I can do. You said you were going back to Ypsilanti. Don't do air quotes, Bob. It just annoys everyone. Look. I know I challenged you on the human thing, but the truth is, I say a lot of stupid things. No one listens to me. 90% of the time I'm an idiot, and the other 30% I'm drunk. Do you realize you people don't have a company song? I've been working on one, though. I was thinking about bouncing it off some of the gang. No, don't. Come on. Bob, you've got to do something. What? Now you're here? God's lost it. We've got to help him. You've got to help him. Tell him you don't want him in your life. Renounce God? It's for his own good. You know, everyone thinks I don't care, but that's not me. I care. I care too much. Whether I care about the right things or not, reasonable men can differ, but no one can say I don't care. You think I want him here? Maybe we should stage an intervention. Aren't those supposed to be a surprise? Right, he's got that omniscient thing going. I know that. Why am I so rattled? Okay, okay. The whole time we're planning this, we have to think of something else. For the next two weeks, think about nothing but portobello mushrooms. Okay, we have a plan. Hello, everybody. Arthur here. Thought this might lift your spirits. We are the men of Associated Motors. We build cars and occasionally light trucks. Sure, we were slow to catch on to the minivan. Who knew America would want to spend the bucks? Everyone! We are the men of Associated Motors. Okay, boys, let's see if we still remember how to play this game. Come on, Charlie, pick it up. Nice throw. Make the turn, Pete. Pick it up, big double play. Oh, I love these guys. We might actually stand a chance this year. Hey, Bob. No, 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 no. I did the work thing and the home thing, and now I want to do the play thing. God, look, baseball is very important to me. I mean, you know how religion is to you? Are you worried I can't cut it? Well, no. Well, yeah. Well, let me set your mind at ease. Oops, <laughs> there it goes. Thought I had that one. I got some leather on it. That was a blast. What a hoot. Yeah. So, for the game on Saturday, I was thinking I'd like to play third base. What? You know, the old hot corner. Uh, well, we've already got somebody to play third base. I really, really would like to play third base. Well, that's great to know, and if it were up to me... It is up to you, Bob. I guess what I'm saying is that the lineup is set. We've got a third baseman, and it's Charlie. <laughs> was that Charlie? Yep. He'll be okay in a couple of weeks. Did you? Bob, how can you even ask that? This is Rock Bottom Smith. The creator of the universe is adjusting his cup. What is that? 
It's a dog. See? Leash, collar, dog. I am. I'm a dog. Mommy! Okay, let's play ball. Wow, that guy's got some wheels. I got it. I got it. I got it. Wait a minute. Where'd that thing go? Oh, that one's cute. That's what you said about the other one. Well, I like them both. We're finding such great outfits. This is really turning into Okay, a... stop it. Just stop it, will you? What's the matter? You're trying to ruin this on purpose. How am I ruining this? You're liking everything I like. I'm sorry. I can't work this way. You're my gauge. If you hate it, then I know it's cool. But if you keep liking everything, then I'm completely lost. <laughs> you know, now that I really look at it, this is hideous. You're just saying that. In fact, I won't be seen with you in that. Now oh, that is a really lame attempt to get on my good side. But I know you're not capable of doing any better, so fine, we'll take it. Oh, honey. Bob Fong, take your base. Hey, we're back in the game, people. It's rally time. You hearing footsteps, Saturn? Okay, so who's up? Who do you think? Oh, no. So, take your time down here because I don't need you. I've got to be honest, I had my doubts, but then it hit me. I can do evil and good. Good's easy. See? I made my first flower. Ah! Not this clean. Not that... Too late. The game's on the line. You can't let that guy bat. The ball feels an unsafe place. The accidents happen. It'd be a shame if a tranny was to fall on your friend's head. All right, all right. Paul Arthur! Paul Arthur! Paul Arthur! That's a little harsh. Are they allowed to do that? Lean in. Take one for the team. What? That's cheating, Bob. Look, this team means everything to me. I don't care about my job. I'm not any good at my family. This is the only thing I care about that I'm good at. I'm begging you to let yourself get hit by a pitch. Bob, I might just surprise you and get a hit. You know, I've got a special feeling about this. What? Ooh! A special feeling! I got you. Say no more. No! It's okay! He's gonna get a hit. Don't worry. He's got a feeling. Come on, come on, give me the high cheese. Wow, I was wrong. I didn't even come close to getting a hit. I've never made a mistake before. It's wonderful. You okay, Bob? You seem tense. You're ruining my life! What? You want to experience being a human being? Fine. Come to my work. Break a few windshields. Come to my home. Cheat at chutes and ladders. But why did you have to screw with my softball team? Well, because... Well... I just wanted to be one of the guys. I thought if I played on the team, took a little chin music, maybe snuck in a cheap shot during a brawl, the guys might accept me. But you're God. What do you care? Why do you think I created man? To have some company. I used to come down here all the time in the old days, but sooner or later issues would come up, I'd get angry, destroy a city, and suddenly everyone's walking on eggshells. But what about the angels and all those souls in heaven? You know, they're lovely people, singing my praises for all eternity, but you really wouldn't want to have a beer with any of them. Yeah. You know the expression, it's lonely at the top? That's when you're talking about presidents or Streisand. Imagine what it's like for me. So you get lonely, huh? Well, maybe you know more about being a human than I thought. 
Yeah. But luckily, I'm not a real mopey guy, so that makes it easier. Tell you what, if I try softball again, I'll spend a little time in the cage with Ruth and DiMaggio. I really should take more advantage of my resources. Well, it couldn't hurt. I guess I should go. Yeah. Would you look at that? The lights are coming on. Kids are getting called in to dinner. Dogs are barking. Got. Okay, I'm going. Those damn flowers are out of control. I told you to take it easy on the miracle grow. Ah, they found us. Back, back. My own creations are turning on me. We can discuss the irony of that later, sir. But right now I'm scared. Smick, this is going to require teamwork. You distract the daffodils, I'll make a run for it. Okay. Look, aphids! I look. Yeah! Good work, Smack! It's my job, sir! Yeah! Easy, easy, easy. There's plenty for everybody.